Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to extract any of the shirts and pants from G5 avatar like Queen and Chuck's clothes and import into CC3 Character Creator 3 to make it available for any of the CC3.4 avatar in Character Creator 3. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to make this work. So. First, I'll open my Icron 7. And here, you can just click the, the avatar and go and find the G5 avatar. Just an example, I will use Queen. I drag it out and then next, you should, you should click here and you should be able to see Edit in 3D Exchange. Click Edit in 3D Exchange here. And then you can export it out. So now, Next, I'm going to open a new folder on my desktop. Just right click new folder, right click new folder. I will just name this folder as Queen Shirts. All right, now this folder is empty, and then I'm going to copy, copy the destination location, control C to copy, and then I will open. Open back my 3D Exchange 7. First, I will just double click, double click the shirt here, and then I will export as OBZ file. Export it here. So, the destination you have to copy and paste here. Next, I will just put the file name as Queen. Pinch shirts. Alright, next. Tick export selected only. Then click here. Okay. Now it exported as OBZ file. If you are unable to see the file extension, you can just click view options here. View and tick high extension for known file type and click OK. Now this is an OBZ file. Alright, now in your icons, if you start a new file, click No, and here, when you drag it out, drag in, drag the OBZ file, you should be able to see it is exactly the apple. So here we can just create something just drag it down. This at here. Drag it down to make it smooth. Smooth the mesh. The effect is not that good. So here, you can just delete first. We don't want to save this. We use the 3D exchange. Drag in by using the 3D exchange here. And then you drag it down. You should be able to see that you double click the mesh first and then click auto smooth. Now everything will become smooth. Smooth already. You drag down. Now you can just send it to Icon. Apply to Icon. Now it is really smooth already. Next, just double click here. And then just go to go to C. We just want the shirt. We don't want the the skin body. So this one you can just make the opacity to be zero. So now it will just left the shirt. Next, you open your character creator tree. Here you apply a T pose. Open your CC tree. Apply a T pose. Go to the motion. Drag it down, find a T pose, apply a T pose first, and then next, you click send to icon. Send a character to icon. In your icon, just have a look. Now, this avatar is going to apply inside the inside here. You double click. First, you press W. Now you can see the pivot is at the bottom. 
you can just click here, scroll down, set a pivot at the center, and you just adjust it properly right here. But before that, you just drag it out and make sure that scroll up and then you have to attach it pick the parents and you click you click the avatar pick the parents you click the avatar now you can just choose here the cc base spine then click ok now it, it will attach to CC base spine 01. Next, you adjust it to a suitable location to make sure it is quite fit. Press press R to make it bigger. Make sure it fit to the to the avatar's body first. First, what you are going to fit is that here. Fit the sleeve first. Click here and then make sure you have the two sides. The two sides already take. Alright, now next, what you are going to do is double click the avatar. Make sure you select the avatar and then click edit in character cradle. Now in your character creator, do not save, click no, replace all, click OK. Alright, now it already finished loaded in character creator. And here it's the time for you to, to just edit the mesh. You press Q, double click it. And then what we are going to do is to transfer the skin weight. And you need to have the CC3 pipeline. Once you get the once you get the character creator tree pipeline, then you should be able to click edit the, the mesh and you can see you press Q and select the shirts. You can just transfer the skin weight if you get the pipeline version of it. Character creator tree like this. Now this is the pipeline version. What you can do is just choose the dress. Choose the dress first. Then click apply. Or you choose the default. Because this is a t-shirt, you choose the default, it's okay. You click apply. And then click close. Now it already become a CC cloth. Click edit mesh. And then Click Sculpt, make sure you choose this, this is to pull it out, press Q, and then you can pull it out. Choose the radius to become bigger, make sure you keep on clicking on, on that to pull it out, press Q. Press Q. Press Q. And for this part, you can just pull it out. Just pull it out to fit the body.
Now you can see all of this part already fits. Next is you are going to pull here down. So to to push it down, you click here to push it down. Always need to fish to fit the shape. You can use Ctrl Z to to adjust it. And then this part you have to pull it out. Alright, once done already, you click edit mesh here. You can see now it, it already become the CC cloth there. And then you can save it anytime. Just go to contents custom. Click the shirt, under the shirt, click plus, and now it already become a new CC cloth. You can apply apply on any any other avatar. For example, now this avatar don't have any of the shirt there. You can just drag in this cloth and then it really immediately apply on your avatar. Alright. That's all for today about how to extract any of the cloth and shirts and pants from G5 avatar like green and chucks green and chucks clothes and import into character creator 3 cc3 to make it available for any of the cc3.4 avatar all right that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to a 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.